What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Dylan Seb. For those of you who don't know, I'm Seb, the other half of Dylan Seb. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I do my quarantine nails. Um, go ahead and if you if you like this video or if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We post videos free frequently like a lot like we upload like three times a week so <laughs> let's get into the video okay so my nails these are what my hands look like like ew actually this is how i'm gonna start off i'm gonna start off by choosing which ones i want so if you guys didn't see my other video i went to the walmart and i bought a whole bunch of nails okay so let's see what nails I would like to do today. I want my own island. Bitch, you want to get it. Okay, do I want to do these ones? These are fucking ugly. Ew, I hate them. I don't think this short lifestyle is for me, guys. Sucks that I can't, like, have music playing in the background because, um... Or can I? If they're gonna add credit anyway. It's okay, just me and my thoughts today. All right, let's see. Let's see what it's talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Tell her busted over. She said, okay. What she wearing? Chanel and Dolce. Can I? Should we do this? Oh, my back hurts. Why? Yo. This is insane. Okay, I don't really know what order my videos are going to go up. So for those of you who don't know which is probably no one again i got relayed off so i they call me back to work they're like hey come sign this contract we're gonna be working again and then after like what two days of work they're like okay just kidding you don't work here no more bye that's <laughs> basically what happened so now i'm jobless again now to refile for edd again okay that's a good fit okay i guess this is a tutorial right so for the um so i'm resizing or resizing i'm sizing my nails right now to get the perfect fit on each nail how do i want to do this i kind of want do i want to how do i want to design this a white thumb no, you know what? I want to have one accent. So I want... Look at how tiny the 11 is. Look how small. I was talking to you guys, wasn't I? Okay, so I got re-laid off. So now I have more time to be doing YouTube and more time to be moping around, I guess. I feel a little bit better about it today because now I have, like, I can still do YouTube and stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay, let me tell you guys a story. So, these are the problems with OfferUp. So, yesterday I was trying to buy a Cricut because I'd I be, I be bored. Like, clearly you see that I'd be bored because I upload a lot. So you're probably like, this bitch has nothing to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went, and then here, this is the most annoying part. So we set it up. I was like, hey, like, can you meet here at this time? And he was like, yeah, let's, go. or he actually, he was like very dry. He was like the most dry person. All he said was yes. So he was like, yes, 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 yes. And then literally 30 minutes, not even 30, probably like 20 minutes before we were supposed to meet up. He was like, hey, sorry, I can't meet up with you anymore. Okay, so this is what I think, and I could be overthinking it. But he, I, I was like pretty polite because um, I'm like sending smiley faces and like being just hella nice and like being trying to be accommodating. He's like, yes, yeah, yes, no, or yes, you know? So he's just like, one wording me the whole time and then I was like hey getting ready to leave now smiley face and then he was like okay 
see you soon. Or right, he said, okay, and I said, see you soon. And then immediately after, he was like, oh, and then I sent him smiley the face. And then immediately after, he was like, um, actually, I can't meet anymore. And I was like, if distance is a problem, don't worry. Like, I can drive to you. And he was like, his next response was, I'm going to have, I might have one next week. So you were just going to go ahead and waste my time? Or what is this, waste my time 2020? No, sir. We do, we are not, we're not. Like, I I wish I could rate him even without him selling to me. Is this number six? Oh, that's wrong. Because he was clearly just going to, like, have no courtesy. And, like, all of a sudden he had a change of heart, which doesn't sit well with me. Or were you just going to fucking rob me? Like, were you just going to, like, whatever. I was excited to get that cricket, too, because I got ideas i'm trying to make decals and i'm trying to make like a whole bunch of shit is this only one size yes sir and then i need an 11 all right boom so i sized up that's that oh i, I told myself i was gonna get like a little rag oh well whatever i'll just clean it Put all of these back okay so step one completed now I am going to push my cuticles back. Boom. I got this little kit from Walmart. It's like an all over, all over kit. Can anyone explain to me what this tool is for? Because I don't know what it's for. I want to, I want to get into, maybe, maybe it's just like the quarantine talk, but I want to, <laughs> Part of me wants to get into um, learning how to do like my own like acrylic and powder. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm pushing, I'm pushing my cuticle back. Pushing it as far back as I can. And I'm going to be doing this to everyone, to every nail, to everyone. What the fuck? Are these cuticle cutters? We're going to learn today. So what else is an update about me? I filmed two videos for you guys today. No, that's wrong. This is about to be my third or fourth video. Who knows? Oh, my back hurts already. Fuck, I just need a fucking... Can you guys see right here? So yeah, that guy was like big annoying or else I would have had a video for you guys yesterday. But now I'm here to sign to ruin all my hopes and dreams. I'm just damn near about to um about to buy one because they're on okay, so his was listed. He wanted a hundred and forty for the cricket. Okay, I don't I don't know how to cut my fucking cuticles, guys. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna push it back. Actually, no, I wanna finesse this because I'm not I wanna have pretty hands. So yeah, he was asking 140 for it and then orig retail it's like two something, but on it's on clearance right now, Michaels, probably because everyone's trying to get their craft on because everyone's just at home. Um and then the one on offer up was like an ugly ass color, and I'm really trying to get like a pastel pink one or like the green one since I'm trying to adopt green as like my new color. Dude, how do these things work? Alright, fuck it. This is fucking annoying. This material is so funny. It's literally just like, like rubbery. Push, push, push. Oh, you guys can't fucking see. Push, 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 push. It's like in a almost like a cuticle eraser that's what it should be called boom but the idea with the cricket is i want to 
I want to do fun artsy shit. Like, I want to be, like, making, like, cute wine glasses for my girls or, like, personalizing things. I want to, like, get in touch with my, like, crafty side, which I'm... Because I like to think I'm naturally creative. That's what I like to tell myself. Whatever. Okay, so there's that. Now, I believe I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to clear with the alcohol strip now? Or am I supposed to fall it down first? Let me think. How do they do at the nail salon? I don't know. Let me just read the instructions. <laughs> it says step one. And it comes with this stupid stick, which I'm not going to use. Oh, no. Actually, okay. Alcohol wipe. I think I'm doing this right. Alcohol wipe first. Boom. Alcohol wipe. So let me go ahead and wipe down all my nails. This is lint free, which is magical. Imagine trying to do this with a cotton pad and you get all the little hairs, which fuck with the adhesive. Okay, boom, next step. I heard they rough your, let me throw this away. You gotta make, um, you gotta rough these up for some reason. So it sticks better, I believe. Oh, my face is itchy and I just fucking wiped it off. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing. It's one more day till we choose a Switch winner. Hey. Oh my god, I can't... Like, honestly, we really passed our goal. So we went from... Before the giveaway, we were at, what, 73 subscribers, and then we posted the giveaway, and now we're at almost 500. I believe we're at, like, 463 or something like that. Like, that's insane. I mean, I, okay, I know, I know it's, like, mainly for the Switch, and I know people are just, like, here for the Switch, but, I mean, we got, like, a lot of true, like, like, subscribers out there, like, people that found us from the Switch video, and they're like, okay, you know what? You guys are dope and I like you guys, so I'm going to stay following. And that's like really, that means the world. Um, me and Dylan last night, or was that last night? I don't know what night it was, but we were watching one of our videos that I think ne deserves a lot more views. And it's our Omegle prank video. Like that video <laughs> is so funny to me. Oh man, I want to I want to do a review on that video like where me and Dylan watch the video and like comment on it because that ugh, I am like the world's worst actress like that video. <laughs> I kept drinking because I was trying not to laugh and for those of you who don't know um, what video I'm talking about I'll go ahead and link it or check the card that pops up right now. So that video was so funny. We there's like a lot of psychology, um, just like everything is psychology based. So we basically primed our our subject, right? So the idea was that I was a girl and I was supposed to go out with my friends, but plans got canceled so I'm at home drinking White Claws by myself so I tried to slide that in into our conversation pretty early and then the next step was oh like I've been drinking it's super hot in here excuse me I'm gonna open up my window and then I reach over I didn't even open up the window Dylan is on the side making the window noise so he's like um so he opens it while I just like I didn't wear a bra that day, so I just kind of like held my tits and then opened up the window. And then um, we talk, 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 whatever. And then, oh, okay. And then step three or phase three is like, 
oh, I've been drinking. I need to go to the bathroom. Will you wait for me? Like, I enjoy talking to you. And then that's when Dylan rattles the blinds. Like, he's already inside the room. He's just behind the camera so you can't see. So he rattles the blinds and then starts, like, digging through. It looks like my room. Digging through, like, the drawers and stuff. And then he, like, runs out of the room and you can see the door and then i open up the so i'm literally in the bathroom waiting for his cue so i open up the door and then people are shook like some people knew that it was like a prank but other people were like no <laughs> and it's just so funny to watch i kept drinking like if you see me you see me in the video go like what are you talking about and then i drink and it's because i'm trying <laughs> I'm trying hella hard um, to not laugh. And the most fucked up part about it all is that we we didn't even disclose to anyone like, oh yeah, it's a prank. We just skipped. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that's fucked up. Um, another funny like insider is that we switch. Okay, so Dylan has a gaming chair. So we switched out. Hold on, let me figure out how to do this. We switched out his chair to um to a different chair so people wouldn't be like oh what the fuck like you're this is this is for sure a prank like they know what they're doing type shit so that was fucking funny as fuck we're gonna do another prank video so stay tuned that that video is fucking underrated it was kind of unnatural to be saying at first but the other side doesn't know like the other side like doesn't know that I have formulated like steps in my head. Oh my god, that's so funny. Ouch. Okay, so now I peeled the nail and now I'm just gonna press it down and I'm gonna try hopefully try to do this straight because oh no. Boom. Oh, is this one too big? This one's a bit too big. Okay, and then put like a lot of pressure when squeezing. I ordered nails from Treshe, Trashy, Treshe. So I'm waiting for those to come in. I understand that it's a global pandemic, so shipping might be um, delayed or whatever. Boom, there's one nail. Oh god, I hate the length. Oh my god, who am I? I like my long ratchet nails. But honestly, this way is just <laughs> so much more cheaper. Instead of going to the salon every three weeks. Okay, boom, there's my first nail. Second nail, let's paint. Or actually, let me go ahead and do this. Ugh. I mean, this this is okay. It's okay for now. This is not the vibe I'm trying to give off. I'm trying to give off like a bad bitch vibe. And this is not it. This is like a... I bake cinnamon rolls. Well, I did bake a cake recently. So <laughs> Who am I? Yo, this is gonna be a fucking 30 minute video of me doing press on nails and talking to you guys. <laughs> oh, I already forgot which is the bottom side. Oh, this side. Make sure shit's straight. Are you straight, fam? So the last press on nail set I had was purple. And that set stayed on for two weeks. And I don't know what it's like with the nail glue that they like recommend. Cause I've been using, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I'm using Gorilla Glue, the brush one. And I'm already out, so I need to go get more of those. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I'm so not used to these nails. Okay, look, I'm not trying to have this pop off. What if I make the, okay, so when I ordered Treshe nails, like, They're also glue on nails, right? But what if they just pop off like while while I'm out? Like, should I stick to acrylic and just ruin my nail beds for the rest of my whole entire life? 
what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, the Omegle video. Omegle, oh yeah, and another thing about Omegle is that like, they're real people's reactions, you know? So, <laughs> oh my god, genius. And then Dylan would literally coach me before each, um, like each new face we seen. He'll be like, okay, this is what you're gonna say. Or he'll he'll do cues like, like he'll be off camera and then he'll let me know like, oh, drop drop the, I'm home alone or drop this or drop that, you know? So dude, that show is so fun. Ouch. I just, well, I guess that was an overreacting ouch, but. Okay. This is what we're looking like so far. I feel like longer nails also make my hands look better. Like they make them look more elegant and long. I feel like they look kind of stubby now, but I have nice hands, okay? You want to know a weird fact about me, guys, is that my hands are like attractive, right? Like, but my toes are also hella long. <laughs> and I hate that. I don't really wear a lot of like open. So my, what is it? The the toe next to the big toe is longer and I hate it so much. I hate it, I hate it. I can't wear like a lot of open toed um, shoes or heels. And those are like super elegant and minimalistic and like really cute. And I, I can't wear them because I'm so embarrassed of my fucking toes or that one toe. They're just all long. They look like, they're just extra long phalanges. Oh, did I glue this on? Boom. I forgot to tell you what set I'm using, but this is the Impress set. I just got it from Walmart. They're this, this brand right here, Impress. Get it? Like press, like press. Okay, I'm done. All right, this is what we looking like so far. Impress, this has a little, let me fix that. You know what? It's funny because this is shaped like a like a nail brush anyway, so maybe Gorilla Glue just looking out for us ladies. Looking out. What am I going to do? I need to file again for unemployment, EDD. That is something I really need to do or else I'm just going to be sad and depressed because I have no other income. Whatever. Well, I can't stop now. I need to do, after this, I need to look into hotline and figure out my money situation. Um, and then I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my life after that. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, let me, let me just point out one thing. Okay, so I have this, oh shit. So I had this set and I tried doing it cause it's really pretty. It's like a pretty pink and um, very dainty and cute and I like that but this set I oh I can't stand and I think that's just what it is with the press on nails is that do you see like there are like low-key air bubbles in this nail you can't see it on camera maybe I'll go outside and take a picture and that is the most annoying because it's like a clear jelly pink and maybe is it the glue i'm using do i do i really need to use a different glue but that is like that is it's not cute i'm telling you right now it is not fucking cute and i fucking hate it look at my hand i'm just gonna stop complaining so maybe i should like maybe yeah maybe the clear let me try to apply it differently with this hand and see how it goes i'm this close to ordering that one two three go set from email couture shit's a hundred bucks though these are pretty flimsy okay boom so i stuck that on you know what it, what it is for me it's it's the shape and the length that's it i love my tapered square i love my coffin i don't really like this like oval shape that's going on I think I also want to make a vision board like with you guys so you guys know my goals and like 
maybe I can inspire other people to do a vision board. I used to make vision boards per year, but I haven't this year because 2020 I just went to shit for everyone. <laughs> like, what the hell? Literally went to shit. People are on Twitter were like, ever since Drake and Future dropped, life is good. Life has not been good. Unpopular opinion, I think Drake is toxic. I love Drake. I really do. I love his music. He's a great artist. I listen to him all the time, but he is toxic. He's like a, you know how they're undercover hoes? He's an undercover toxic dude. Future is straight toxic, and we all know that but drake be toxic too he what's one of his, to his toxic lines is like i miss the feeling of you missing me like okay emotionally toxic person like oh man that's a fire song though what song is it i miss the feeling of you missing me not fire and desire fire fire and desire classic i listen to that at night in my feels all the time. I will never get over that song. Oh, I miss the feeling when you miss me, but you say that's over. And na 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 na. Mm 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 mm. Wait, what song is it? Fuck. But Drake's toxic. He's just too smooth with the tox toxic toxicity tox the toxicness too smooth with it but he's toxic don't be fooled i don't know why i can't think of that song but yeah future is known to be toxic but don't sleep on drake but he's still a good artist don't get me wrong i love him but future got Lori harvey and she is so bad oh sorry this is supposed to be a nail tutorial okay boom this is where we're at two more and then we're done this tutorial I'm not even going to call it a tutorial no more. This video would have been probably a lot faster if I, like, shut up. <laughs> like, if I wasn't talking. But I want to talk to you guys. Ew. No, I'm not hating on you if you, if you have short nails at all. Like, this is just, like not my preference and everyone has a preference and opinion but i do not think i can rock short nails it's just not it's just not in me i need the long long nails like i miss struggling to put my cards into the atm oh shit! i was gonna try a new technique and i just straight put this jelly one on there are girls okay maybe it is my glue because there are girls that make um the jelly press-ons like look really good. I guess I'm just not their skill level yet. Don't forget to file the tops because these are factory made and you still see the little little tab. Yeah, it needs to go. Last one. I really like this song Blueberry Fago by Lil Mosey. Cause it's like a feel good summer song. Like, yo, I'm like turn at a at the beach or I'm turn at this party, but no, we're on lockdown. But that song slaps. See, that didn't take too long. They're easy. You can rip them off when you feel like it. So it's good, like on the go. But honestly, I'm not too notorious for breaking a nail. Like, you'll never really catch me slipping with like one broken nail because i'll either take them all off or i'll go to the salon that day and be like hey y'all need to help your girl but i mean it's perfect during a time like this even though i have nowhere to go literally i'm doing my nails for myself because i don't like seeing my nails like unkept that's the problem all right guys we done did it boom what do you guys think i'm gonna go take some more pictures outside is this one crooked can i rock my new nails oh this one crooked fuck all right there you have it oh 
thanks for watching me. Let me close this first. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching me put on these press on nails. It was it was easy. I mean, it was really easy. If I can find a better style or I'll do an update video for you guys um, to show you how long they stay on. But the previous set I did, which was this set, which you guys have seen my hands like the, this color, lasted for a good two weeks before one finally gave up on me and I just took them all off. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.